the Battle of Pavia in 1525, a victory for the Holy Roman Empire in history, Charles V defeating Francis I. In today's battle, we will see this battle recreated and maybe a new outcome. Will the French be able to defeat the Holy Roman Empire and Charles V's Spanish subjects, or will they be defeated once again? Hi, I'm Pope John Paul, and we're here with another historical battle using the 1212 AD mod for Attila Total War. And today we have an excellent battle, as I've said, recreating the Battle of Pavia in 1525. So it is after, obviously, the 1212 AD, so these units are a bit outdated, but we thought we'd recreate it anyway. It's a really good battle. It's famous for being the first battle ever with handguns in, and I'm trying to find them. I think... Where are they? There they are. There are the handgunners. The, uh, yeah, this is the first battle in the history of, well, European history to use handgunners. And uh, the Holy Roman Empire uses them to great effect to, uh, well, obviously beat the French. And they capture the French king in history and uh, then obviously ransom them back. And obviously bankrupt France in doing so. And then go on to capture the Pope in Rome after they sack Rome. Um, so e each army has one unit of artillery as well. Um, so they are all well matched. There was a, the French did ha in history have about fifty artillery pieces to the uh, Holy Roman Empire, which I'm probably just what I'm going to call them. Even though there's Spanish there, it's just easy to call them Holy Roman Empire. Um, they had about seventeen, I think, cannons of the uh, HRE instead. So they were outnumbered, but we thought we'd just make it even and make every give everyone one. Um, cavalry was fairly even as well in numbers. Um, so we have about six units for both sides having cavalry um, split three and three um, And then there's a lot of pikes and halberds because this is like the pike and shot period um, So I think we've mostly brought halberds and the French have mostly brought pikes So we'll see whether that makes a difference in the battle and then we've got some just the classic sergeants and pavy uh, Spears as usual and we have our general so here we go. Here's Charles V back here You could say the Holy Roman Emperor and his bodyguard. There's not actually a unit for Charles V Obviously because he's not of this period, but you could imagine this guy here in his golden helmet That could be him there. We don't know. So this battle should shortly be getting underway I'll quickly go over some other units that may be of interest um, To have a look at we have Oh, we could say that's Francis Francis the first back there. That's being played by uh, Joan of Arc interesting. We have some Scottish um, Bows here, the uh, Guard Iskos, um, which are a really good unit for melee and also for, well, for shooting, obviously. They look goddamn awesome as well. They look like they've got Italian flags. But yes, the Battle of Pavia was in Italy, just outside Milan. The French making an invasion um, of Italy, and obviously the HRE controls Italy at this point. So they didn't want to, well, let the French have any influence in this period and this part uh, well, this part of the world, anyway. So that they sent an army off to go and beat them. And, yeah, that's basically what they do. So I think we're about ready. This is the final piece of artillery getting ready into position. And we should be about to get ready and go. So I'm probably going to keep an eye on the French perspective first. Because I've I played as the Holy Roman Empire with a few of my subs. So I'd like to see how the French uh, basically did on their side, basically. So, But obviously we'll have a look at the HRE as well. They have some. We don't see them often on the battlefield. So I think we are about ready. We'll see. Hopefully we get some shots in a moment to go. Go off. I mean, these pikes are going to be nasty. These are... They do have the range on our halberds, so that may make the difference. It'll be interesting to see who wins the cavalry fight. Um, the French are going for an interesting tactic of keeping a cavalry unit in reserve, while I went for all three out front to take on their two. We both supported our cavalry with shock infantry. Um, I'm using dismounted French chevaliers, I think... Uh, no, the French are using dismounted Chevrolet. I'm using dismounted Imperial Ritter. And here we go. We're about to see the first shots go off. There is the order. And here we go. A cannon straight away taken out. Excellent. I couldn't ask for better. So there we go. We have one cannon out. And already these culverines are redeploying. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Another cannonball seems to have hit. And gone through here and hit some guys. That's very good. We're getting some nice little shots going off. Interesting to see what happens. The culverines are pretty effective. The French, in history, have to attack. So that is the only order that they are, they are given. Where did those cavalry... Where did those cavalry... Um, those cannon pieces land? I don't know, but they hit somewhere. 
I think it's just going to be a, an artillery duke to start with, so you can win that artillery fight. does look like uh, we are winning. We've taken out one cannon. They have taken out none of ours. They're, I think, trying to actually target our cavalry. But, I mean, it looks excellent. Just look at these boys. Can we have a shot? Fire. Fire the cannon. Go on. I dare you. And there you go. The French are starting to move off. You can see in the distance. The French have been given the order to move. And I think they're still uh, targeting my cavalry, which I'm just... I'm fine with them doing. They can target my cavalry. I'm just going to tell the artillery... Tell the cavalry to keep moving so they dodge the artillery shots. I think we missed again. Yeah, we're not... Clearly, that one shot was it. Um... Yes, that, that was it. That was a lucky shot, and now we can't hit anymore. We're not allowed to, apparently, according to the laws of Total War. But here we go. The French are on the move. So, interestingly, what is Ca I didn't really actually look at what Castile have got. Castile have got a lot of heavy spears. Um, he's brought Mercer Genoese crossbows. He's brought um, some halberds, some monteros. And he's brought a few Spanish Order foot knights. He's got one very, a very interesting formation. He's brought a lot of spears. More spears than I would have personally have brought. Um, I would have brought a few more swords. He's brought two units of Spanish Order of Foot Knights instead of bringing his full complement of three shock, which he was allowed to. Um, and it looks like his cavalry is getting focused down by artillery as well. Though he's taken out a, another one of his, uh, their artillery as well. Looks like neither side is really actually focusing on their artillery too much. I've also now lost an artillery piece, and we're trying to reposition them as we speak. So, and you see there, look at that. In one hit... He takes out two of my artillery pieces. One cannonball, taken out two. That is very, very lucky. And so I'm down to one. So I'm very much losing this uh, culverine battle. So I'm trying to get my culverine ready. I'm going to try and take it out. And no, there we go. It's out of ammo. And he had so much ammo left. So I was so pissed. But he managed that. And the French are now mobilizing on the flank here. Um, balance of power is very even. I would say, well, they've lost ever so slightly more men in this initial skirmish stage. But we both started with the same amount of troops um, and similar amount of chevrons on our army, so it's very fair. And in history, it was a very close uh, battle in numbers. The French were indeed massacred because they did come in uh, bit by bit. They came in waves. So the larger Holy Roman Empire, Holy Roman Empire army could destroy them. But um, we, we thought we'd change up. Cavalry getting a nice uh, hit there. Well, the artillery getting a nice hit on the cavalry. Um... And it looks like the skirmish phase has started over here. It looks like the Frank archers are going to start the skirmish phase here. They're going up against Pavi's crossbows. They will probably lose that fight. Um, yeah, Mercy Genoese uh, crossbows. You're probably going to lose that. But they look good, don't they? Oh, I was about to say loose. Give us a volley, you fools. Um, it looks like, yep. Yeah, I was not happy with the amount of losses being taken by this ca by the cavalry. We already lost like about 12 men. And the cavalry are expensive. We need to keep every man alive. And here we go. It's, these boys look very, very scary. It's only a matter of time until the cavalry charges in. Gendarmes getting ready with their mounted French chevaliers. They will they'll do some nasty work. It's just annoying because I don't have my artillery piece. But I don't know how much... Oh, he's still got a lot of ammo, in fairness. He's got two artillery pieces left. I must have hit another one of his just before mine died. But here we go. It looks like the cavalry is getting mobilized. Is this going to be the charge? Or is he just moving up? Looks like he might be going in. No, no, he's slowing. Oh, I'm kind of excited. The skirmish race has started for us as well. Most of Genoese crossbows... And against most of Genoese crossbows, what a surprise. Um, but I'm going to just stay here because I'd like to see this charge. I think it's inevitable it's about to happen. There is also a charge going on over there, actually. We'll quickly look at that. Um, it looks like the gendarmes did scare off the Spanish Order of Knights. Uh, so that is unfortunate for the HRE. Probably losing the cavalry fight on the left-hand side of their uh, flank. But they really need to win it here on the right, then. There's a large combination of troops here. Here we go. The charge is getting ready. And in we go. We'll get the French perspective of the gendarmes. Oh, they were just moving forward. But here we go. The command's been given. And the clash of cavalry has begun. And there. He's right. Die, die, die. Now, these are different gendarmes. Oh, these are... A name I'm not even going to try and pronounce. But here we go. It looks like sending in spears and... Uh, Heavy infantry along with their heavy infantry. And they're bringing in pipes. 
An interesting decision to bring in the pikes. Might have used them in the infantry fight, but they will be very useful against cavalry as well. Excellent. What chaos we are seeing here. Beautiful. And what the uh, lines now, infantry lines have clashed over here between the Spanish and the French, the other French player. I imagine the Spanish should hold okay here. They've got some good infantry. Order, Spanish order foot knights are very, very good. And I mean, the heavy spears will probably hold because they're spears. They'll hold for a fair while, I imagine. What are they going up against? I imagine sergeants. Yeah, sergeants late. Um, they may lose that. This fight they definitely don't want to be in though here. Pikes versus halberds. Uh, halberds don't have the range as the pikes. So this, if you're ever playing 12-12, don't do this. Don't send in those sort of men. But I mean, this is a big flank here. He could really send in his shock infantry in through this gap here. Which he's doing. Excellent. Well played by the French player. He's now in behind these halberds. And the Spanish player really needs to send his general over. Maybe surround these guys. Because he's really in a sticky position. I'm not quite sure what the Spanish player is doing. With his halberds, he's sending them all over the place. They're kind of getting all coughed. But... They have caught the uh, French general over here, unawares, but it doesn't seem like he's lost any men. Well, it looks like we are losing the cavalry fight. Cal Imperial Ritter are the first to break, um, but it is soon to be followed by... I mean, the, uh, they're not breaking, actually. They're just pulling out. They are wavering now. So, I mean, it's a fairly even thing, um, but the reason they're pulling out is probably has something to do with... Uh, well, these halberds trying to get in there. They were trying to surround these swords, but it's not going to happen because this point-blank range by these uh, Genoese crossbows and these uh, halberds being caught out of position. I'm trying to desperately like get them to form up again, give an order, but they're just so spaced out, they're just going to get picked off one by one. So, a bad move but uh, by myself, but it may not be the end yet. Not quite. The generals have gone into combat. Uh, it seems like Joan of Arc is in there. Also, the Holy Roman Emperor is in there. He's very much beaten up, though. He's already lost half his unit. Really need to get some men in there. So I'm sending desperately over some Pabby's crossbows just to, like, hold up. Get this cavalry in here. Maybe this Imperial Ritter can help turn the tide. Not sure. But these gunners doing a little bit of work over here. They're taking a few of these guys out. A few longbows. And, again, the halberds here just getting focused down by... Uh, well, by crossbows in the rear. I was trying to just flank around with them, and it's just not going to work. I should have really had them in the front lines like I did here. I have them in the front lines here. They're doing fairly well. They've actually broken through. I'm not quite sure how, but this isn't probably actually a good thing. So the infantry line is kind of a bit of a mess. And yeah, this is not good. My general is already breaking. And so it looks like the balance power is going to shift in the favor of the French for now. I'm holding off with my infantry. I don't really want to send it in against these pikes. Suicide these spears. You seem to keep wanting to go in. But, um... Uh, I should really be sending my my uh, this unit around this pike unit here. And I do. I start to do that just about now. It looks like we're about to sneak through. On the other side, it looks like the Spanish are actually doing okay. They seem to be breaking a lot of... Well, a lot of French units are starting to waver. Um, I'm not sure, quite sure where the Spanish general is. I presume he is dead. Um, the Holy Roman Emperor is also dead. Actually, no, there is the Spanish general. And there he goes as well. Just as I speak about it, he dies as well. Um, so I'm not entirely sure how we're going to win this but the balance power is certainly going out of our favour but it looks like the well now the French general is very much vulnerable he's now got uh, Pavis crossbows coming or Genoese crossbows um, but yes the Holy Roman Empire is almost gone so the French have won on this flank but there is still chance for the Spanish to win on the other flank and then face off this army will that happen quite possibly uh, not because the Spanish general is dead but I've seen, uh, I've seen bigger miracles. But here we go. The Spanish are now re-engaging here. The sergeant has been sent back in to fight those order foot knights. A uh, really good bite. I certainly would have brought more of these guys. They seem to be doing a lot of work. The men are broken and running for their lives. They're holding here. They're not going to engage. I would really engage these guys with this uh, spear unit because you can. This is a really small unit. You can force this. I mean, they're going in anyway. You could destroy this unit. You can start surrounding other ones. That could really be done with doing. 
I mean, these pikes are well out of position. They could definitely be taken out really easily. Looks like the, uh, the, uh, well, I'd say, you could say this is the king, actually. I don't know. Either one. But, I mean, the other general, the French general here, is, uh, well, just mopping up stuff in the back. I wouldn't have sent all the foot knights back myself, but um, they've been sent back to go and basically deal with stuff. They really need to send more infantry to the front line. They still have their artillery, which is huge. Um, I think this artillery ran out of ammo. Uh, there's also only one of it yet, but this one's very healthy um, in amount of units left, and it's just firing to the side of these um, archers here. Trying to break stuff. Are we going to get a volley? Give us a volley. But we also have the Frank archers here just firing down on the halberds in the rear. This is nasty. Need to fire its marchers. Come on, you Spanish boys. No, it seems like it's not going to happen. But it looks like, yeah, that is. Oh, just as I do that, it just, it just starts to fire. And that was a really good hit. It just broke that entire unit of sergeants. That's what they really need. They need a couple of, yeah, a chain route. There we go. Bit of a chain route. This is about to break. This really, the Spanish could actually pull this back. Look at the wavering that's going on. They just need to kill that general. The general's wavering. He's still alive, but he is wavering. So this could be huge. If the Spanish can win this, then they just need to, um, well, just need to kill this general. And then this French army is basically undone as well, because then they could win it with artillery. I'd start turning this artillery around, though. Look at the fire, the shots of that. They're just wavering this Frank Archer unit now. Putting really big gaping holes into these formations. <laughs> I was enjoying that before they ran off. Oh, a really good hit there. Jeez, this 3E company is down the same. This is an elite archer unit as well, and they're really, really beaten up. But, I mean, it looks like the Spanish might win this fight. So, good on them. I mean, they did a lot better job than I did as the Holy Roman Empire. The guard escorts has been sent in to take on the Spanish uh, foot order or order foot knights. That's it. These guys are pretty, pretty good in combat. They look like they're yeah. They I mean I guess these guys are really tired. Yeah, they're very tired. So I'm not surprised this unit won. They're also really fresh. Here we go. Though. Another Spanish order foot knight unit, but this time, um, like with sh they're a shock unit. They're coming in. They're gonna chop up some uh, Scottish, French boys. But, I mean, they're also getting focused on by archers, and they have no, they have no shield, so they're just going to get hit, and they're really beaten up already. Ah, the cannon has turned around, and it still has ammo. That one over there still has ammo, because it's not actually focusing on this one. I thought it ran out. But here we go. Oh, no, he's, he's turning it around again. No! Need to focus down the, uh, the units over there. Oh, it did fire. I don't know if it actually hit anything. Oh, it did get a good hit. Got a quite a good hit on the uh, archers back here as well. Look at this army just set up ready. It's still looking fresh as well. A very good hit there. Oof. Look at the devastation. It goes through so many lines. Yeah, I mean, that's excellent. I mean, now he's just... Now the uh, French general's had enough. He's like, right, we've had enough toying around. We're going to send in the uh, cavalry. That'll that'll do the job. And now the, the main army's been mobilized. This army, I barely did a dent to it. This army's still fresh. Ridiculous. But it does look like the last of the Spanish are making a stand here against pikes. They really need to get around these pikes. I don't know if they actually killed this general. No, this general who's down to like nothing is uh, still alive. But there you go, a close defeat. Um, so it does seem that the history has been changed and the French have won the Battle of Pavia. So if that happened in history, you could say that, um, well, Italy would have probably like, come into French domain. Like northern Italy, certainly. Or it certainly would have been a bit a lot closer in like who controlled it. Um, so yeah, we'll end the replay and have a look at the end results. And certainly the Pope wouldn't have been... Uh, like, Rome wouldn't have been sacked, the Pope wouldn't have been captured. And then you might not... Like, other repercussions in Europe may not have happened because of that. But anyway, let's have a look at the end results. My general getting zero kills is very, very poor from him. He did kind of... I don't know really what happened to him, but he got... Just sucked up into a combat that he couldn't win and lost. Um, I dismounted Imperial Rissa getting 105 kills. That's not too bad. The other's not doing too awful either. Nothing else doing too great uh, really either. The gunner's only getting 35 kills. I really thought they did better, but clearly not. Um, and that's really it. I made a mistake by really bringing Pavi's spears. Not really worth it for a 
a field battle, but mistakes made. And I maybe should have brought pikes instead of halberds because they may have been better for range. Uh, my cavalry not doing great either. I thought it was doing okay against um, the French cavalry, but it seems not to be the case. Uh, and my cavalry only getting nine kills, but it did take out artillery, which is the main aim. So I'll have a look at the Spanish quickly. So Spanish doing a lot better than myself. Um, 102, uh, 112 kills, sorry, for the king's bodyguard. Um, 150 uh, for his Spanish order foot knights, um, which is like the shock unit, and 107 for the other. His um, early Spanish order foot knights, which are like his main line infantry, getting 108 kills, and the, other, and the other's not doing too bad either. His uh, crossbow's not doing too awful. His cavalry, again, also not doing great like mine. Did get very, very much outmatched by the French. But his culverine, 249 kills. Insane amount of kills. What uh, a payoff they were. And they did really well. Even to the end, they stood long. Um, so well done to Adam uh, CK2 Bro for like getting that, a good result with his culverine. That was insane. Um, so have a look at Prem's army. He was playing as uh, the French army I was up against. Um, so his general did okay, uh, getting 60 kills. He got, well, really good kills with his... Uh, French Chevaliers, 125 and 111, very good. His Sergeants, 140 is the best of the lot. Um, his Scottish uh, Longbows, basically what they are, uh, 112, that's very, very good. They are a very good unit. Good in melee as well, it's probably where they got a fair amount of kills. His com uh, 3E Company getting 98, very good. And his Cavalry doing a lot better than mine. His Culbrain getting 60 kills, so that's not bad either. And then Aiden, uh, playing as the other Kingdom of France army, getting 168 with his uh, King and his dismounted French Chevalier is getting a couple of kills, uh, nearly 100 kills each as well. And then his sergeant's not doing so well. They kind of got outmatched by the Spanish Order Foot Knights. Um, his sergeant at arms um, getting 53, that's not too bad, but they're expensive units, not so great. His cavalry did excellent, 197 kills, probably his best. And his also his Scottish longbows as well, getting 243, and his Coleraine getting 107, so he did a lot better with his than Prem did. But anyway, guys, that was the Battle of Pavia. Um, if you enjoyed them, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If there's any battles on, that you want me to try and uh, recreate, then please leave them down in the comments. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.